a long awaited video. Had this one a while. Look where it came from. This one made a trip. What is it? 1975. And now look where it is. It resides here. Alright. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is what we have. Interesting display. Some burned in digits. Homemade case. Galvanized tin, set switches, my shakiness, I'm a great cameraman, let's go inside, okay, inside, all our ducts are in a row, resistors and transistors that is, beautiful. Nice arrangement. Very clean. Our favorite MM5314N National Semiconductor Chip. Date code 1975, 39th week. Upside down, I read. Now, being that this is from Australia, I have a little issue here. This is going to be a 220 volt transformer and a smaller issue which is correctable this chips probably set up for 50 Hertz it has the option of running at 60 Hertz so it's time reference off the line input so that's correctable um, this clock has a problem display is very very tired I was able to fire it up here on 220 um, display is very weak so I am on the search for this display it's made by Stefanics, Jap Japanese display. J4929A. It is used in a Canon calculator, one of the models. Let me paste in an image here. Let's see here. Screen printing, set it for it's a 12 hour jumper. 60 hertz jumper gets put in. I guess that uh, will then make it run. That's nice and easy. Yeah, the board will have to be pulled out, check the power supply out. Um, normally, I do a video with the completed outcome in it. I'm not going to do that this time. As we have some major issues, I am trying to find this display, as I said. So that's been the hold up. But I wanted to get this out, feature this clock. This is a, I think, as they say down under, a Tricky Dick's clock kit. Dick Smith Electronics kit from the mid 70s. There you go, Tricky Dick's Dick Smith Electronics kit. Case is homemade, like I said. But nonetheless, nice circuit board arrangement. Never seen one so nicely laid out. A little better look at the Stefanics. I think I'm saying that right. Panaplex display. 
It does work, but it's very weak. You can see, I think, is the cathodes are really cooked out of this thing. Whether I do some elephant tubes, which are individual seven segment displays, and then a uh, individual tube package, or I have another display, and we'll show you that here. The idea is maybe. I can use this display on this clock. The circuitry all set up for a Panaplex. This is a Burroughs beautiful Panaplex clock display. Seconds are a little smaller. I kind of like that. Fragile. I'm reading upside down here. I get you a label. Now, I have two of these displays, but nothing to connect the display. Those traces, very interesting to see what the original socket or pin connector is supposed to look like for this. Now, if anybody knows anything about that, I'd appreciate a little help on that. Maybe we can build a new case because it's a little bigger and wire that up to this clock. I really like to keep the originality though that that clock is designed for that Stephonics display but it's proven to be difficult to get a hold of. Maybe there's this one in the future of that clock. A nice guy gifted this clock to me. I reached out, he had it online, and did a little post. Digital clock retrospective, he called it. <clears throat> and uh, I inquired about it. I love clocks with the 5314 in it. And uh, he was kind enough to gift it to me and send it my way for the cost of the ride on the boat. So anyway, it now resides in the USA. Thank you, sir. Well, that's all we have for this one for now. It'll be a day where we feature the display, hopefully. Um, working on this clock, and then uh, I'll do another vid. Bye for now.